Hi, I'm Eric Bain, Curator of Aviation here at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. And today we're going to take a look at one of the most amazing helicopters in our collection, the Sikorsky HH-52 of the United States Coast Guard. In 1962, the U.S. Coast Guard selected a modified commercial helicopter, the Sikorsky S-62, as a replacement for its older H-19 Chickasaw and H-34 Choctaw helicopters. The S-62 utilized many already proven and reliable parts from these predecessors, such as the rotors and gearboxes, reducing its development time and costs. The Sea Guard was the Coast Guard's first turbine-powered helicopter. It used a single General Electric T-58 jet engine or gas turbine, which was extremely reliable. It was the first gas turbine engine actually certified by the FAA for civilian helicopter use. The aircraft was capable of deploying rescue swimmers and lifting survivors from the water or directly from the decks of ships, even in severe weather conditions. A total of 99 aircraft of this version were eventually built. The underside of the fuselage is actually shaped like a boat hull. The landing gear is semi-retractable into these floats called sponsons, which make the helicopter fully amphibious. The Sea Guard was also equipped with several other features unique to the search and rescue role, including a folding platform along the side of the fuselage and an external hydraulic winch mounted above the large side door. Sea Guard crews used a device called the Ericsson Basket, named after its inventor, Commander Frank Ericsson. During World War II, Ericsson was the first U.S. Coast Guard pilot trained to fly helicopters, earning him the designation Coast Guard Helicopter Pilot number one in 1943. He commanded the Coast Guard Air Station in Brooklyn, New York, which became the world's first helicopter training base. Back in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the Coast Guard used Sea Guard helicopters to test a wild idea. Called Project Sea Hunt, they tested the use of pigeons for spotting people lost at sea. Yes, those same birds that make the mess on statues in the park. Apparently, they have incredible eyesight and can be trained to press a button when they see an orange, red, or yellow life preserver bobbing in the water. Pressing the button rewarded them with a food pellet. The test proved that the birds could spot a distant target on the first pass 90% of the time. The best a human could ever score was barely 50%. Budget cuts and the improvement of other locating technologies led to the cancellation of this unique program. The United States Coast Guard's HH-52s rescued over 15,000 lives in its 26-year career, more than any other helicopter in the world. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.